So the problem with long hair, y'all, because oh, oh, I always get it in my face. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, so today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me video. I have been packing and applying for jobs and just, I don't know, I've just been wanting to do something fun. So this is a fun little project I'm gonna do today. So I just got out of the shower, as you can tell. And if you have curly hair like me, I am always searching for a new way to like style my curly hair or whatever so i thought i would kind of walk you guys through what i do after i get out of the shower and then maybe that'd be helpful for some of you who had curly hair so to get started i don't have like a curly hair shampoo that i just love i used to use diva curl diva curl got to be too expensive for me so now i use bio silk just focusing um i actually used to use bio silk when i was really little and i would use their like silk therapy um serum that you can brush through tangles and I just honestly, I found this at TJ Maxx and I was like, okay, so I've done a lot of research. After I wash my hair, I always brush through it with a wide tooth comb. I'm sorry y'all, I keep reach reaching in my shower. I should've just got all of this out. So I brush through with a wide tooth comb like this. I got this like years ago. It's like specifically for curly hair. So I brush through with this. Then I take just a couple dabs of this John Frieda Frizzies and extra strength like syrup serum it's for like really thick coarse hair which is what i have um i actually have thick fine hair which is a weird combination um but it can be very curly and very frizzy so i really like this the only thing about it i don't like is that, like if you use just like the smallest bit too much like your hair will look greasy i've been kind of on the hunt for like a curl cream that i like and i really do like the garnier fructis curl products they have so what I've been doing is I'll take some of this and I'll like run it through my hands and I'll just like shake my head and like comb it through whatever. After getting out of the shower, what I'll do is I'll take some, rub it through my hands again. And then what I'll do is I'll take like some pieces and I'll just kind of like twist them like that. And this is like a very new thing for me. I used to just let my hair dry naturally, but it is really fun when you can get some ringlet. I'll just kind of like, Take different strands and like with the serum in my hands kind of just like twirl it like this I have kind of like kinky curly hair if you're a curly haired girl you totally get this it depends on the weather it depends on where I am like climate wise like I live in the south where it's like way more humid than like when I've gone to like Colorado and it's a lot more dry and so my hair just will totally dry differently in those climates and something to know is that a couple like like it wasn't even a year ago it was in september i got the keratin treatment because i thought it was just gonna like calm down my frizz i didn't think it was gonna like take my curl away and it kind of did so i'm like in somewhat of like a recovery from that because i thought i wanted it and then i was like i miss my curls so much because the curls are like kind of a part of me. Like they're, I mean, that might sound really silly, but like they're kind of like a trademark for me. So also make sure that like when you're doing this, if you want to copy me, make sure to like get your hands wet when you put the serum in your hands because you don't want your hair to be crunchy. That's like the worst. So, and then for the last step here is I'll take like a butterfly clip. I guess that's what you call these. I don't really know. And what I'll do is I'll take kind of like the top section of my hair and it's gonna look like I have a bump it in, which always cracks me up because this was so the style when I was in high school. I'll clip it in just so I get some like volume up here on my roots because sometimes that falls flat for me. And then it's also kind of nice because I can twirl these pieces underneath and then I also can have my hair out of my face for my makeup, which is great. I promise y'all this video is not gonna be like 45 minutes long. I do talk a lot, but let's get started. Okay, so right after I get out of the shower, I have very dry skin, so I like to make sure that I moisturize as much as possible. So I have the Neutrogena Rapid Tone Repair Moisturizer with sunscreen. It has like SPF 30 in it. I really love this stuff. I know it looks odd, but I was having robe problems, so I just put my uh, towel wrap on. Anyways, not that you care. And I just put it all over. So after that, 
What I like to use is I like to use the ROC Multi Correction 5 in 1 Cream. Hope you guys can see it. So, what I'll do is I'll just dab this eye cream on. And what's great about this eye cream is that it can be worn under makeup. So, now that we've done that, um, I like to use my primer and I use the Pore Professional. I don't know if any of this is focusing, so I'm really sorry if it's not. But I use a Pore Professional by Benefit. I actually need to get more of this. So we're just gonna squeeze a little bit on. I also would like to preface this with that I don't, I'm not a makeup expert. This is just how I do my makeup. So feel free to like tell me if I'm doing something wrong or like tell me if you do something differently. I think we kind of all have our own processes. So like, you know, like James Charles said, Everyone kind of does their makeup differently, and like, that's fine. Uh, and then I, I used to use, which I need, I really want to get back to, I used to have a NARS, like, foundation. And then I ran out, and then I've just never gone back to get it. But right now I'm using a really light foundation, because especially in the summer and in the south when you sweat a lot, I just want something as light as possible. So I use the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Enhancer. It also has SPF, with that, which I love, um, and it has a retinol treatment in it. And this color, is fair to light. So whenever I get I like kind of tan in the summer, I always need to get something a little darker, but I have been inside a lot, so that has not happened. Some of you guys might mix this in with a beauty blender. I just feel like my hands, it's like more of a moisturizer than it is a foundation. So I just kind of like rub it in with my hands. After that, what I like to do is like to take my Bare Minerals uh, powder, which also has SPF in it, Guys, we're just really trying to not have skin cancer, you know? This is the Bare Minerals Original Foundation Broad Spectrum in Fairly Medium. It's just a really nice light powder. I've been using it since like the seventh grade, so I don't really know what else is out there. I just take a little bit on my powder brush and just lightly dust it all over. Well, now after I've done my face and everything, I uh, move on to brows. And brows is like one of my favorite things to do. Partly because I went through a phase in life where I kind of destroyed my brows. <laughs> I overwaxed them. I did so many bad things to them. And luckily they have grown back. And so now I just like really like to keep them thick and try and take care of them. I use the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. That's a, that's a mouthful. By Benefit. I love it. And I use it... I use it in the color too. So I first like to brush them out and I just like lightly outline my brow. After that's done, I like to go over my brows with the Glossier Boy Brow just to kind of give them like a little bit more life and this is the Glossy Boy Brow, it's great. I honestly don't even know what color I have. I think I just have brown, which is like generic, but whatever. Just paint that on. Ooh, that came on thick. Ooh, we're gonna have to fix that. Ooh, that came on really thick. So after my eyebrows have been filled in, what I like to do is I like to go over them with the clear transparency, like mascara by Great Lash. It's just like this clear gel, it's wonderful. After I do that, I like to do a very light touch of bronzer. I am weird about that and I never want to look like, like, you know? So, I use the Cheek Leaders Bronze Squad Palette by um, Benefit, which if you guys can see, I love it. And I heard about it first from actually Jacqueline Hill, which I love that she used Benefit products. Because I love Benefit. Hashtag sponsor me. Like, you definitely could or not, whatever. So I use the Hoola bronzer, and I have a light bronzing brush, it's a contour brush, but I'm gonna be real frank with you guys. I don't really know how to contour, so I do the best I can. <laughs> oh, I'm dropping things left and right. I like to suck in my cheeks a little bit, and just kinda, and that looks really dark, I know. It's gonna get better, I promise. And then what I'll do is I'll go in with another brush, which is just like a regular blush brush. So I'll go in with that and I'll kind of get a little bit more bronzer. 
not too much and I'll just kind of like blend it down a little bit and like that looks really stark I know but like just blending it and I will say today I'm doing a very kind of natural look because I'm just working and then I'm hanging out with some friends so it's like it's not anything that really needs to be crazy so what I'll do is I'll take my Laurier Laura Mercier goodness gracious um, the setting powder and I have the travel size just because I didn't need the big one and what I'll kind of do is I'll kind of bake it just a little bit just because I have a tendency to touch my face which I know is bad um so I want to make sure that like some of it stays on now what we're gonna do is do a little bit of eyeliner and a little bit like a touch of eyeshadow. I like to tight line. What tight lining means, if you don't know, is that you lift your eyelid and you kind of go under it like this. It looks like you have nothing on, but you do. But today, I'm gonna do a little bit more on the top. So for my eyeliner, I just use a Revlon eyeliner. I've been using the same eyeliners, not the same, but I'm using the same brand of eyeliner since like the seventh grade. I love it, it's just Revlon Color Stay in brown. So then after we've done our eyeliner, what I like to do is I like to go in with an eyeshadow primer. It kind of just like brightens up my eyes even if I'm not gonna be putting on a ton of eyeshadow that day. Because what this eyeshadow primer does is it keeps your eyeshadow from moving. So I'll just kind of like take a little dot and I'll just rub it all over my eyelid and a little bit on my crease. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of eyeshadow, not too much. I'm just using a really, really basic eyeshadow palette. I'm not even gonna show it. It's like from Revlon from the drugstore. So now, the next step is concealer, and concealer is something I have struggled with for years. I finally went to Sephora and just was like, what helped me? Like, I, was like, I don't know why my eyes keep creasing, like whatever, and the lady was like, you need to get an eye cream, and that's why your eyes keep creasing, is because you don't use an eye cream. So I use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer in the shade 20. I'm pretty pale, so just take that with what you will. So what I'll do, I'll take a little bit on my nose, a little bit on the chin, if I have any zits anywhere, which like right now I do because it's my time of the month. And then a little bit up here, and then I kind of like to like do it a little bit above my eyebrows just to give them a little bit more like precision. And then I'll do a nice little triangle. And then I'll take my beauty blender and I get it wet. And then I'll just kind of dry it off a little bit with a towel. And then I'll go in first like chin and then up is how I work. Okay, so now we're blended. So now what I'll do is I'll take my powder brush from earlier and I'm just gonna dust off that uh, translucent powder. And this side is still a little darker than I anticipated. So what I'll do is I'll take my beauty blender and just kind of blend it. Okay, so now the next step after we've done concealer and kind of blended it in, I'm gonna take my palette again and I'm gonna use some blush and I'll just it up and kind of blend it in with the bronzer. And I'll just kind of do a little bit all over. Second to last step is I'm going to take the Cookie Highlighter by Benefit with my highlighting brush and I'm just going to lightly run it across the tops of my cheeks. Now I will do mascara. Today I am going to be using the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume which I have found to be great and I really love it. So I would highly recommend. One of my favorite features about my face are my eyelashes. Um, I often get asked if I have falsies on or if I like have extensions on and I don't. I'm very lucky in that. So for my lips today, I'm gonna to be using the Kylie Jenner Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the color Commando. Love this color. It is wonderful. So now I'm ready for my day. That's my getting ready with me. Getting ready with me. Getting ready with me? Whatever. That is my <laughs> get ready with me video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry for my weird ensemble, but. So guys, if you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.